In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy backlinks with the most detailed guide available on the internet. Hey guys, my name is Kevin Smack, and in this video, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide on buying backlinks. This 2021 tutorial will show you everything from where to find them, from which website to use, a discount code, and what exactly they are. We're going to explain a lot in this, so make sure you stay till the end if you want the complete information. Also, if you're new to SEO, this is definitely a way to get started and understand backlinks. First, what are backlinks? Backlinks basically are another website having an article and in the article, there's a link and that link goes to your website, a specific page usually, or your main domain. That is a link. They call it a backlink coming back to you. They're linking to you. Google sees this, and if the website is a good website in Google's eyes, you will go ahead and increase. It's kind of like a mini boost depending on how good and how many of these links you have. Now the next question people always ask, do you always need backlinks? The answer is no, unless you're extremely in a competitive niche, then you might need that. But most of the time you can just outwork it and not need the links. I'm going to explain how websites start and how they work to give you an idea. If you already know this, you may want to just skip ahead. I'll have everything time stamped below and we'll continue with what to do next when you are ready to purchase backlinks. But first, let's step back and pretend you're brand new to websites and you are going into SEO for the first time. This is a guide that I've received from Society Builder under the Avalanche red and basically these are levels so you can think of this as a video game your this is a website level you are at this is how much traffic is expected in a month so when you're brand new you are on level zero at level zero you can only access keywords that have zero to ten search volume and that's why people are so into going with zero search keywords because you need this in the beginning. If you want to get to level 10, you need to do this to be able to get to the next level. So you do level zero for a month. All of a sudden you have 10 visitors this next month. But now that you have 10 visitors, you are now on level 10. Now you can target keywords 10 to 20 search volume and 0 to 10. You continue this process and you continue leveling up. Google should not take this away from you unless you get a penalty. So say you get to level 100, you're getting 1 to 200 through this means you should not drop back. Now there are boosts that can get you up a little higher. So say you get 1 to 200 but all of a sudden you're pulling in a thousand. Well, Google might have looked at your site and like it, and they might have just given you a random boost. That happens. And it also happens where they might take it away one day. So keep that in mind. Are there other power boosts you can use if they're not giving you it? So say I'm between 1 and 200, and I really want to move up, and I want to keep writing content, but I want to kind of speed things up. Well, that's where a backlink and interlinking comes in. Interlinking is when you're linking relevant articles within your own website to each other. This makes a kind of map and helps Google understand your website better and know what things are related and familiar. When this happens, Google loves that. That's why Link Whisper is so popular, because it helps do that for you. The other option is getting a backlink. By finding a website and reaching out to them and having them link back to you, that can bump you up to the next area if depending on how good the backlink is or how many there are. And there's certain criteria you want to make sure when you are paying for a backlink, which we will go over in this video. So are backlinks needed? No, you can level up the hard way and just go through and hit this next stage too. And then once you're getting 25, all of a sudden you can go to the next stage and then continue and just go through and eventually you're going to be hitting this. So if you're level zero and you find a keyword for a hundred searches a month, you shouldn't really write that and worry about it right now because that's for level 100s. You know, maybe level 50 you could do it, 
but I would kind of wait until you're ready for it. Start with your level and write as many as you can. And what will happen is this is going to just keep adding on more and more snow, basically. And eventually an avalanche is going to come and the website's just going to start flying up these levels. So now you understand what backlinks offer. I want to go over the service that I used and I have tried a few and scouted around and none really fit except one. And you probably know it because everyone else uses it too. Yeah. What can I say? The other ones that I found are not good. This one's solid. I like it. I do have my own discount coupon down below. Also, if you do it this week as of when this video drops, they have some bonuses. This is usually 10% and these are all higher up from November 15th for the week after. These will go back to probably 10% after this time period but because of the holidays coming it's an extra discount so if you are interested in any of this i would definitely use the most off so you can get in right away they also have a new harrow service that looks very interesting it's starting in january but you can get a 15 percent discount early on by purchasing it this week so say you're interested in purchasing it you would go down below and then you would just go to services and then links. And I went to guest posts, but niche edits are also there. To explain the difference, niche edits is them reaching out to a website that already has an article and insert your information in there, your link in there. So it could be an aged article. Niche edits are nice, especially if it's more of an info page and you just want a little bit to kind of get a little more specific to your niche. But guest posts are really the ones that people usually purchase more. Guest posts are great if you have an affiliate post. And I've been using niche website builders for about four months now. And I've purchased a few links through them. And pretty much everything that I've purchased has went to, you know, top three and is starting to make me some serious money, as you could tell by my Amazon reports. So I'm going to show you how to make sure you're getting the right stuff. So when we go to guest posts and you go through here, you can check it out and find the one you want. These are the basic prices, but remember you'll have the discount for the first time you use it. The first time you use that code, you have a discount. But remember, the second time you use that link, you do not have a discount. So make sure you get what you want the first time to maximize on that discount. I wish I would have bought a little more my first round and saved a little more. With this, the higher the domain authority, the better. I would shoot for 45 or higher. And when you view the options here, it's going to give you this information here. The most important thing is this says, yes, please. This is not much of a cost for something that's going to make your stuff a lot better. Make sure you pre-approve the links. As far as organic traffic, a thousand I think is fine, but if you want to jump it up, that's up to you. And article words, 750 to 1250, it's only a $20 difference. So it's completely up to you. 750 can be fine. I actually like going with the less because I don't want them to be competing with my article. I just want them to send me a good guest post, which they're really good at doing. So with this yes please, what that means is they're gonna go ahead and say, okay, these are the websites, which one would you like to pick? And as time goes on, they'll probably keep adding more if you can't agree on something. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example of what I would do. So I don't have any emails from them right now because all my links are currently uh, taken care of, but I did get this email today from this guy trying to sell me links. So we're just gonna randomly use his information and kind of see if we can find what works. The first thing I look for is a .com address. He's saying traffic numbers here as well. Let's go and choose something here. We will go with eventsmagazine.com. We'll copy this. We're here in SEMrush. SEMrush is a paid program. However, they do offer 10 free lookups a day which is great, that's more than enough. So we're just gonna paste this in, put the .com. 
We're going to choose Domain Overview, and we're going to search. So now we're going to take a look at a few things and see how it's going. So the authority score is 66. He said it was 70 something, but 66. OK. Organic search traffic. It's down a bit, but looks pretty solid. Backlink 6.2 million. That's a lot. So let's look at the organic traffic and see where it's going. It looks like it's holding. It was really good and it's it's calmed down. So this doesn't look too bad. Next, I look at where the traffic's coming from. U.S. is the main area, which is good. That's what I want because I am in U.S. If you're targeting somewhere else, then that would be different for you. But most people are probably going to be targeting the U.S. So that's a good sign, too. So, so far, this looks pretty good. Let's scroll down a bit and see a little more here. OK, looking at stuff they rank for, maybe that's not the greatest thing. And... What do we got here? Go to backlinks. So follow links. They have 5.75 million follow links. That is a lot. That is a whole lot. I would personally stay away because this is so high. That's so high that it's it's scary. So this one I would turn away simply because they're sending so many backlinks. You have to kind of think of it like, I don't know if this is necessarily spot on, but basically they have, say, 100% of link juice. And they you go to their follow link and how many links there are, they have to all share that 100%. To 5.75 million that link juice probably wouldn't be too strong. Now, if you can get this link really cheap, then maybe. But if you're purchasing it from somewhere, I would, at the price that we're looking at, I would not go with this. I would pass on this one. And that's the only reason I currently see here to pass other than maybe some sketchy keywords. But let's take a look at another one and see what else we can find. They have... Buzzfeed.com. Okay. Here you have the authority score of 79. Organic traffic is great. I wonder if they can actually get a link through this. I don't know. US is the majority, which looks good. They're ranking Buzzfeed as number one. Yeah, those look good. I know of Buzzfeed, so looking good. I thought BuzzFeed was more on the way out though, but it looks pretty solid as a website. And let's take a look at the links, follow links. 60 million links. So they're probably selling links, but they are also a huge entity. Looking here, I see a lot of their backlinks are referring to different languages too. So that might be kind of a red flag. Hard to say. Because I'm familiar with BuzzFeed somewhat. I mean, knowing it's BuzzFeed and seeing this traffic, the traffic numbers, even though there is this many links, I would probably still go with this one. Because sometimes you have to make exceptions when it's close enough. Everything else hits. Like I said, my only two warnings is the 60 million and the language barrier. But BuzzFeed.com, familiar with their YouTube channel, so... This one I would probably go with. If traffic is zero, you don't want it because that means Google is not ranking them. It's Google's not sending any traffic to them. It's not going to boost you by them linking to you. So there we go. That's everything I have for backlinks. I've been using niche website builders. Like I said, I've purchased, I believe it was four links and the niche edit did probably the least amount to my stuff the guest posts definitely did boost stuff up to pretty much get my keywords to top three and they're earning amazon affiliates like crazy now i do want to also mention that i would go to the website itself make sure that it is https and that it's secure because i feel that's a definitely a measurement though it's not that big of one and just to make sure the website in general looks like something I want to be part of. And it's either in my niche or a news site because news sites kind of work because they're so well-rounded. 
If it's something completely on a different spectrum, not in my niche, and it has nothing related to it, I would also turn it away for this reason. So definitely recommend them. Again, I am affiliate. It does help me if you use the link down below. If you have questions, let me know. Also, I wanna mention, sometimes things might not be perfect when you order them. If there's an issue, you let them know and they've corrected them for me. For example, in a niche edit, they put me in with other links and they had me towards the bottom. Well, I don't mind being in with other links, but I want to be towards the top. So I asked them to raise me to the top and they did that. No problem. So it's important to let them know if you're not happy with something. Make sure the anchor text is what you're looking for. It's tough with anchor text because if you use certain anchor texts, People are going to know you're buying links, but at the same time, that helps a lot as well if you're trying to get that exact keyword. Try not to keep ordering the exact same link for the exact same keyword. Try to try other variations of the keywords after you get the exact one in. At least that's what I would do. You don't need a lot to boost your site. I don't feel like you need a lot if your site's already doing well, but if it's not doing well, you may need to go and get a few of these. Sometimes it's good just to get a few, just to kind of get the site going around the one year mark, nine months to one year, just to kind of give it a little extra push. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll do the best to answer them down below. And thank you so much for the view.